Judge and television personality Glenda Hatchett spoke out this afternoon after a sheriff who she says groped her in Cobb County pleaded guilty to sexual battery. Fox News Kim Luffler was at the news conference today and joins us live. And Kim, Judge Hatchett says she feels like justice now has been served. Yeah, she does. Luckily, County Sheriff Chris Cooty resigned effective immediately along with his plea. Now, Judge Hatchett says she spent her career advocating for victims, but never thought she'd become one herself. I am a very strong woman. I pride myself on being strong. Judge Glenda Hatchett holding back tears Monday afternoon, speaking out for the first time after Sheriff Chris Cootie pled guilty to groping her last year. I never expected that I would be so deeply affected by this. It happened during a reception for the Georgia Sheriff's Association at the Renaissance Atlanta Waverly Hotel in Cobb County in January 2022, where the judge and television personality was an invited guest. That's where Hatchet says Cootie groped her breast. I was welcome. People were just happy to see me. People wanted to take pictures. I felt very comfortable. And so for this to happen was just like, my goodness. She filed charges the next day. I had to file charges. There had to be accountability because the message needs to be clear that you cannot do this. How dare you do this? And if he would do this to me after having been introduced to him as Judge Hatchet, what else is happening? Hatcher says the support she's received over the last 20 months has helped her make it through, but she wants other victims of sexual assault to know they're not alone. I am surrounded by so much support because I'm Judge Hatchet. But what about the women and men victims who aren't? And that's why I've dedicated so much of my life, as you know, professionally advocating and trying to be a voice for people who don't have a platform. Cootie agreed to 12 months probation, 40 hours of community service, as well as a $500 fine. He also will have to complete a drug and alcohol course. For now, live in Atlanta, Kim Luffler, Fox 5 News.